Lutheran Presbyterian that over the years all of our religious leaders would address our Creator with a joy, petition, and immense thanksgiving for the blessings showered upon the Slavic people as they journey with God. The Slavic people have journeyed from the Priapit wetlands and Carpathian mountains out into the world. Their names are many and their dialogue with the world has given the Slavic people rich and at times troubling diversity. Yet they are a celebration of creativity and love we can only attribute to the God of love. They are Serbian, devoted to pan-Slavic nationality. They are Croatian, demanding respect for a unique experience along the Adriatic Sea. They reach out into the world in many various and diverse ways. We have among the Slavic people the Poles who produce more Nobel Prize winners than any other nation on earth. We have the Slovenians, an industrial powerhouse which brings with it a rich Slavic character from the, Alp Mount, the Alps of Europe. We have the Slovaks, the Ruthenians, the Russians, and a mystical spirituality that challenges everyone in the world to know the mystery of God. We have the Lusatians who still dwell in Germany and remember their Slavic roots. We have the Ukrainians, a powerhouse of individual freedom and democracy, born of a desire of peasants and slaves to find justice and freedom. There are many other Slavic peoples who I'm only beginning to know, but maybe through our festival here in Youngstown, our Simply Slavic Festival, we'll get to know and love all of the Slavic roots of our peoples. We take a moment now to remember Cyril and Methodius who brought the gospel uh, to the Slavic people. At this time we will, I will chant the traditional hymn to our brother Cyril and Methodius who are considered equal to the apostles and who are known as the teachers of the Slavs. And this hymn is attributed to their noble gesture of bringing the gospel to the Slavic people. As equals of the apostles and teachers of the Slavs, beg the master of all to confirm us in the faith. And in unity of heart, O Cyril and Methodius, beg him for peace in the world and mercy on our souls. We honor those priests who gave us the light, who opened a fountain of theology for us by translating the holy scriptures, thus starting a river from them that still runs today. We glorify you, o Cyril and Methodius, who stand in heaven before the throne of the Lord on high, and who pray so fervently for us all. Let us pray in blessing for the many gifts that we'll receive this day. We pray that God may bless our festival with love that bridges the chasm between generations and will remember our ancestors, those who settled the Mahoning Valley and came uh, from Europe to the United States. May the Lord give us love, a love that bridges the chasm between brothers and sisters of Slavic origin. Show us, dear Lord, the various strengths of our families and our communities. May we, this day, Remember the worship in communities throughout our valley and throughout the universal church that have been born of the Slavic people. May this identity and love bless America. We move, may we all move beyond materialism to remember that our love extends across generations and throughout history. May we remember those who come after us, and as we remember our Slavic roots, we prepare the day for our young 
children to walk with pride and happiness. God our Father, bless the food that we will enjoy this day. Bless the choir from St. Stanislaus who shared their gifts with us. Bless on this uh, eve of Father's Day all the fathers of the Slavic community and all the fathers of our Mahoning Valley. May the insight that we gain this day from sharing with one another our heritage bless us in the year ahead. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. At this time we'll have a parade of the flags and we'll go to the Heritage Center and uh, along the way our Father Andrew will be blessing us. Oh, yeah. 